say hello 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 it's nice to say hello 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 and how are you it's nice to shake your hand shake hands shake hands it's nice to shake your hands shake hands and how are you i'm fine me too we're fine and how are you i'm fine me too we're fine and how are you it's nice to say hello 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 it's nice to say hello hola hola y como estas it's nice to shake your hand tu mano shake hands it's nice to shake your hand da la mano y como estas I'm fine. Yo también. We're fine. Y como estas? I'm fine. Yo también. We're fine. Y como estas? <laughs> Yay! Okay, so I am going to switch cameras so we can hear our story time. And did you notice it's the first time that we're meeting here together? So we're moving forward. Okay, so the story, first story we're going to read is called El Perro Con Sombrero, a bilingual doggy tale by Derek Taylor Kent, illustrated by Jed Henry. Here is Perro. Pepe was a very sad dog. He had no home and no family to love him. Pepe era un perro muy triste. No tenía ni hogar ni familia que lo quisiera. One day, Pepe was begging for food on the street when a sombrero flew off a balcony and landed right on his head. Un día, Pepe estaba pidiendo comida en la calle Cuando un sombrero salió volando de un balcón y le cayó en la cabeza. Pepe became, became the star of many great films. He looks so handsome. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Missy Lane jumped ahead. He looked so handsome in the sombrero. A grocer gave Pepe a juicy bone. Yum. Mm. Se veía tan guapo con el sombrero que un bodeguero le dio un hueso delicioso. Qué rico. Then a movie director drove by in an expensive car. He shouted, cool, a piero in a sombrero. You must be in my movies. Un director de cine pasó por ahí en un carro lujoso y gritó, genial, un perro con sombrero. Tienes que aparecer en mis películas. Pepe became the star of many great films. Pepe se volvió estrella de cine. He played a cowboy dog. Hizo el papel de un perro vaquero. He played a romantic singer. Hizo el papel de un cantante de boleros. In a comedy, he even ate a habanero pepper. En una comedia hasta se comió un chile habanero. He made a lot of money. Hizo mucho dinero. But he was still sad because he didn't have a family. Pero aún estaba triste porque no tenía familia. Lying in his dog mansion, Pepe had no one to pet him and hug him. Only his adoring fans gave him comfort. Acostado en su mansión, Pepe no tenía a nadie que lo abrazara. Solo sus admira admiradores le brindaron consuelo. But someone did not like Pepe. El gato en zapatos. Pero había alguien que no quería a Pepe. El gato con zapatos. So this is the gato. Do you know what that is? The cat. And these are zapatos. Mm. Those are shoes. shoes. El gato con zapatos. 
El Gato en Zapatos was the biggest star in the world before El Perro en Sombrero came along. He was a very jealous kitty cat. I should be the number one star. That dog would be nothing without that silly sombrero. El gato con zapatos era la estrella de cine más grande del mundo antes de que llegara el perro con sombrero. Era un gatito muy celoso. Yo debería ser la estrella más grande. Ese perro sería nadie sin este tonto sombrero. The next day, El Gato and Zapato snuck into Pepe's dressing room and stole his sombrero. Al día siguiente, El Gato con Zapatos se metió en el cam camerino de Pepe y le robó el sombrero. When Pepe arrived, everyone asked, am I on the right page here? Yes, okay, sorry. Where is your sombrero? Cuando Pepe llegó a trabajar, Todos le preguntaban, ¿dónde está su sombrero? Then Pepe saw El Gato. El Gato en Zapatos was escaping through the back window. Pepe vio al Gato. El Gato con Zapatos se estaba escapando por la ventana trasera. Pepe took off after him. Run, Pepe, run. <laughs> Pepe salió corriendo tras él. Corre, Pepe, corre. Pepe chased the sneaky kitty through the busy streets. Pepe corrió tras el gatito bandido por las calles bulliciosas. Through markets. Por los mercados. Through cinemas. Por los cines. Through weddings. Por la, las bodas. Through parades. Por los desfiles. Soon Pepe cornered El Gato in a playground sandbox. Give me back my sombrero, Pepe barked. Pronto Pepe se encontró con el gato en la caja de arena de un, un parque. Se vuelve a ver. But then a little girl spoke. Look, papá, a lost dog. Pero justo entonces una niña habló. Mira, papá, un perro perdido. Pepe turned and saw a whole family. Pepe se volteó y vio a toda una familia. Mother, father, daughter, son. Mamá, papá, hija y hijo. Can we keep him, asked the daughter. Nos podemos quedar con él, preguntó la hija. He can come with us only if he wants to, said papá. Solo si él quiere venir con nosotros, dijo su papá. Pepe looked at El Gato en Zapatos. Then he looked at the family. Pepe miró al gato con zapatos y luego hacia la familia. Keep the sombrero, said Pepe to el gato. Then he jumped into the arms of the small girl. Quédate con el sombrero, le dijo Pepe al gato. Después saltó hacia los brazos de la niña. The family took Pepe home. They pet him and hugged him all day, and they snuggled with him at night. La familia se llevó a Pepe a casa, lo acariciaron y lo abrazaron todo el día, y se, acurra, se acurracaron con él por la noche. What happened to El Gato? ¿Qué pasó con El Gato? There he is, looking longingly through the window. Ahí está mirando con añelo por, por la ventana. So the family adopted him too. Now they were a big happy family. Pues la familia decidió adoptarlo también. Ahora es una familia grande y feliz. Pero, gato, zapatos, el perro con zapatos, sombrero, el gato. Con sombrero. And Pepe was the happiest dog in the world. Y Pepe fue el perro más feliz del mundo. The end. Yes. Yay! Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to just share my screen again so we can do a little song. Okay, so we're going to do Pedo, Bingo, 
Instead of B-I-N-G-O, we're going to do P-E-R-R-O, okay? So I wanna see everybody clapping. Mm -hmm. There was a farmer had a dog and Pedro was his name. Oh, P-E-R-R-O, 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 and Pedro was his name. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog and Pedro was his name. One clap, E-R-R-O, E. R R O E R R O and Pedro was his name. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog and Pedro was his name. Two claps. R R O R R O R R O and Pedro was his name. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog and Pedro was his name. Three claps. R O R O Oh, and Pedro was his name. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog, and Pedro was his name. Four claps. Oh, oh. eagle, big eagle. Oh, and Pedro was his name. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog, and Pedro was his name. One clap. I mean, oh, did five. I do that? five now, right? Sorry. Let's try. And Pedro was his name. Oh, yay! We're having so much fun together that we forgot to count. Okay, so here I'm going to stop sharing. And we have piggy eagle, piggy eagle. another piggy story. Eagle. I'm just going to ask everybody to make sure that you're muted so we can hear, okay? And then we'll unmute at the end, okay? So I am going to do a story called Chicks and Salsa by Aaron Reynolds. There were grumblings in the hen house of Nuthatcher Farm. The chickens were tired of chicken feed. The rooster took it upon himself to solve this problem. Hmm. I wonder what he's going to do. Do it this way. This Mrs. Nuthatcher, the farmer's wife, had started watching cooking shows in the afternoon. The rooster was perched on a fence post outside the farmhouse window when he discovered the solution to his problem. Mm. Salsa. <gasps> I love salsa. Led by the rooster, the chickens crept into the garden where they took tomatoes and uprooted onions. Look at those clever chickens. <laughs> that night, the chickens ate chips and salsa, though nobody was quite certain where the chickens got the chips. <laughs> <laughs> the tasty tang of tomatoes and onions hung over the barnyard, and the rooster said, ole. Yum. <laughs> Very soon, there were rumblings at the duck pond of Nuthatcher Farm. Inspired by the chickens, the ducks decided they were tired of fish. With the rooster's encouragement, the ducks dipped into the garden where they selected cilantro and gathered mm. garlic. Yeah. Wow. I love cilantro. That night, the ducks ate guacamole, though nobody was quite certain where the ducks got avocados. <laughs> the spicy scent of garlic and cilantro hung over the barnyard, and the ducks said, ole. The next morning, there were rumblings in the pig pen of Nuthatcher Farm. Overwhelmed by the enticing aroma, the pigs decided they were tired of slop. <laughs> While the rooster distracted Farmer Nuthatcher, the pigs plodded into the garden where they borrowed beans and chopped chiles. Wow, they're very talented. That night, the pigs ate nachos, though nobody was quite certain where the pigs got the nacho cheese sauce. The delight, delightful deliciousness of the cheese and chilies hung over the barnyard, and the pig said, ole. As everyone knows, when a passion for Southwestern cuisine takes hold of farm animals and, so, and is so sumptuous, spicy, savory scents collide in the barnyard air, it could only lead to one thing. Fiesta! The rooster got things organized, then returned to his fence past 
post to watch for a good enchilada recipe. The horses decorated the barn. See how we decorated behind us here? The bull practiced his Mexican hat dance, though nobody was quite certain where the bull got the sombrero. And the chickens, ducks, and pigs snuck into the garden, but all of their spicy Southwestern supplies were gone. The scallions had been stolen. The peppers had been pilfered. The limes had been lifted. But there were slurping in the kitchen of Nuthatcher Farm, stirred by the succulent smells in the barnyard Mrs. Nusshatcher had decided to make tamales for the county fair. A saucy sweetness hung over the farmhouse kitchen and Mrs. Nuthatcher said, ole. <laughs> Disappointed, the animals canceled the fiesta. That evening, the chickens ate their little chicken feed, the ducks ate their fish, and the pigs ate their slop. <laughs> While the nuthatches were at the fair, the rooster crept into the kitchen and borrowed a French cookbook. The next morning, the rooster ate crepes with white grapes and champagne sauce, though nobody was quite certain where the rooster learned how to read. <laughs> a satisfied smile stretched over the rooster's beak and the rooster said, ooh la la. <laughs> so that's French day is next, the end, yay! Okay, so we have got a song for you. All right, let's go over here. I'll we'll do this next. Mm -hmm. We'll do this first. Okay, so let me just switch the camera again so you can see us. Here we go. All right, so we're going to do head and shoulders, knees and toes, but in Spanish it's cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies. Okay, <laughs> so you got it. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies. Okay, you ready? Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Ojos, orejas, boja y nariz. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. You try it with us, okay? Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Ojos, orejas, boca y nariz. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Almost perfect. Okay, very good. And we have another song. Miss Omira, we have that. Okay. Cinco centavos, five pennies. Four candies, cakes, and toys. Cinco centavos, muchachos, muchachos, muchachos means many boys. Cinco centavos, five pennies, four nuts to feed the squirrels. Cinco centavos, muchachas, muchachas, muchachas means many girls. Yay! Mm -hmm. And now we're going to hear about a special girl Miss Elmira is going to read. I'm going to switch the camera. Frida. Okay. Yeah, you want to sit so over here? Have... Okay. Yeah. Oh. So, for little Frida, the world is Mexico. Actually, I'll start again. <laughs> Frida enters the world. For little Frida, the world is Mexico. Her house is a blue house. It is in the town of Coyacan. Frida's father is an artist and a photographer. He teaches her how to use a paintbrush. Frida's mother takes care of six daughters. Often she is tired. Often Frida is lonely, even though she has sisters. This is Frida. Enter stage left, Frida's imaginary friend. Her name is also Frida. They play games. All of a sudden, Frida falls very ill. She's in bed for months. There's something wrong with one of her legs. Even her imaginary friend can't cheer her up. 
That's when Frida teaches herself how to draw. Drawing saves her from being sad. After Frida gets well, she still wants to make art. So she paints little paintings. There are copies of other paintings. See all the paintings back here. Paintings also in photographs is what Frida's father does for a living. He teaches her how to do this too. Frida also paints things she sees through a microscope. She loves looking at things very closely. At school, Frida studies science. She is bored, school is too easy. One day, Frida is riding the bus home from school. A horrible accident happens. A trolley runs into the bus and Frida almost dies. In the hospital, it is painting that saved her once again. Painting is like her imaginary friend. It is there whenever she wants it. It keeps her company. It keeps her from giving up hope. After the accident, life will never be the same for Frida. She will walk with a cane when she is able to walk. Her body will hurt always. Poor Frida doesn't cry or complain. Instead of crying, she paints pictures of herself crying. When her whole torso is put in a cast, she paints on the cast. When she can't leave her bed, she paints in bed. Nothing can stop Frida from painting because she's so often alone, unable to leave her house. She has to use her imagination. She paints what she sees in her heart on top of what she sees with her eyes. It's almost like painting on photographs. She's very, very creative. She paints little magical scenes with words at the bottom all over Mexico. People paint these kinds of scenes. Sometimes there are scenes of accidents with angels coming to the rescue. They are like prayers for people who are sick. They are called expos. Frida paints expotos of herself when she is sick or in pain. Frida imitates no one in her style. Her paintings are like nothing else. In museums, people still look at them and weep and sigh and smile. She turns her pain into something beautiful. It is like a miracle. Viva Frida, long live Frida. Oh, that's beautiful. True story. Beautiful True story. story. Frida Kahlo, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Wonderful. That's a beautiful story. Oh, so now I'm going to put our screen back on. And I want to remind everybody, we have a few more songs to do. I want to remind everybody that for Cinco de Mayo, we have a special program, a cooking program tomorrow to make churros. So if you haven't signed up for that, it's at four o'clock. You can go to the library calendar and sign up for that. Um, Maybe you can, it's four o'clock. If you want to sneak on and watch on. that, right? I, <laughs> I know you like to cook and you're a great cook. And we want, we're so grateful for oh, you coming you. today. Thank, thank you, you so much. It's always a, a treat. Um, and we're going to do a couple more songs for you. So, we have, so who's, who's making the children? Oh, the cooking the school. Team. The oh, cooking yeah. school is coming to make it. So it's online, it's a virtual program. And so we'll do this one first. Okay. Okay, so I'll do the motions. We're gonna do the Itsy Bitsy Spider in English and in Spanish, okay? The Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the spout again. Now we're gonna try it in Spanish, okay? La araña pequeñita subió, subió, subió. Vino la lluvia y se llevó. Salo el sol y todo lo secó. Y la araña pequeñita subió, subió, subió. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so nice. much. Good job. Okay. 
And our favorite we're going to end with, if you're happy and you know it, okay? So I'm gonna let Miss Omara can do the clapping, okay? okay? And I'll hold this one up, all right. Okay. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Applaud day. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Applaud day. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Applaud day. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you see, estás contento lo sabes. Stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. If you're happy and you see, estás contento lo sabes. Shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap. Aplaude. Vista fuerte. Y grita hurá. Si estás contento y lo sabes, haz los tres. Aplaude. Pisa fuerte. Y grita hurá. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Aplaude. Pisa fuerte. Y grita hurá. Yay. I'm going to thank you so much. And we're going to unmute. So everybody can say hi. I'm just going to stop recording.